On average, about a dozen new games are released on Steam every day. While we think that's a good thing, it's understandably hard to keep up with it. Unless you sort through every game released on Steam, potentially exciting gems are sure to be lost in the overabundance of new games. If nothing tickles your fancy this week, then buckle up. In today's video, we've rounded up exciting Steam games that you missed in 2022. First, we have Best Month Ever. Developed by Warsaw Film Academy Video Games, Games and film production studio, Best Month Ever is a narrative adventure set in the 1960s America. It follows the journey of single mother Louise and her son Mickey, with an intense focus on their life. Best Month Ever is shaping the way Mickey experiences the world to influence who Mickey becomes and what values will guide him once he becomes his own. So it's an adventure guided by harrowing decisions, each one having a huge impact on Mickey and the development of the story. There are nine endings to work on, and the graphics are capped captivatingly cinematic. The game follows an exciting storyline that makes it a great option for gamers who love adventure games, so we'll recommend you to check this one out. Next up is Cleaner. The Cleaner is a hardcore die and retry kind of game inspired by John Wick. Developed by Dystopian Inc. and heavily inspired by Hotline Miami and Super Hot, The Cleaner is a lightning fast first person shooter that rewards flawless execution and style. Fortunately, it includes no cliche storyline and no cutscenes, so this is largely a series of shooting puzzles. In the game, one bullet can kill you, which means you'll need to use your abilities to slow down time. Ultimately, the game includes some Matrix-style bullet dodging and a never-ending thrill throughout the storyline. Overall, Cleaner received critical acclaim from pro gamers who gave it a try. And now for Tile City. Released on May 5th by the upcoming developer Yevhen8, Tile Cities is a relaxing puzzle game that takes advantage of the joy of watching cities grow to a whole nother level. Unlike traditional city builders, you don't have to worry about plumbing, electricity, and whether there are too many roads. As seen in the trailer of Tile City, you'll put the city block tiles together, taking care to match the shapes correctly. To complicate things a little, some tiles match better than others, so you'll need to think a lot while playing the game. There's also a super easy creative mode available inside the game for those who don't want to think at all. Frankly, that sounds good and the game itself generated positive reviews from most of its players on Steam. So if you've got time to spare and a creative mind, go ahead and try this game out. Next we have Crown and Pieces, The Kingdom of Deception. Released on May 7th by the developer Joytags, the adventure game was launched recently on Steam. Crowns and Pawns, The Kingdom of Deceit took the game world by storm. It's a point-and-click adventure game set in modern Europe. It tells the story of Milda, a Chicagoan who travels to Lithuania to receive her inheritance. The storyline gets complicated later on by the fact that a mysterious person also wants to inherit the spoils of the estate. The conflict sparks a puzzle adventure involving an ancient relic, a dilapidated house, and family secrets dating back to the 15th century. It's a gorgeous, full-sounding adventure with tons of exploration and puzzle solving. Overall, this adventure game is a must-try and is highly rated on the Steam platform. The suspenseful plot and precise details in the graphics will invoke an experience that won't be easily forgotten by most players. Now on to Achilles Legends Unfold. With a launch price of only $18, Achilles Legends Untold is another early access game. The game is an isometric action RPG, but players better not expect mindless Diablo style clicking, because this is a Souls-like take on the genre. Heavily influenced by Greek mythology, you play as Achilles as he roams a varied, fantastical world, taking down trolls and giant lobsters, all of whom are a bit smarter than you'd expect in this genre. Thanks to the game's group AI action system, which can see foes collaborate to take you down, all the other genre staples are there. Unwieldy skill trees, plenty of crafting, and a whole lot of loot. The full release is expected sometime around the last quarter of 2022, and it may be worth waiting, as according to early user reviews, the current build has little to no bugs. It's safe to say that Achilles Legends Untold managed to grab many people's attention on Steam. So if you haven't paid attention, give it a try. Our next pick is Yangard. The turn-based game was released in early May, and since its release, the game has made a name for itself on both online gaming forums and Steam. It's a role-playing game with a strong focus on the quality of your party members. Granted, this may not be uncommon, but in Yangard, it's not just the stats and occupations of your party members that matter. Their personalities are equally important. These personalities 
personalities are shaped by narrative decisions throughout, but each can also be customized with special combinations and more. Heavily inspired by D&D, Plane Shift Studios took note of Yangard's classic tabletop RPG-style gameplay, and there are also roguelike elements, with each team member playing differently in each campaign. With all of this combined with the buzz this game created online, we've decided to put this at number 6 on our list. The game itself is available for purchase at $22.49. Now, up next on our list is Disco Elysium, the final cut. The controversial game landed on Steam a while ago. If you hate politics-fueled video games, don't play Disco Elysium, the final cut. This detective RPG isn't necessarily a manifesto, but it says something. Disco Elysium delivers many thoughtful political criticisms, but don't mistake it for a game that should be steered cleared of. The game sides with working people and their movements. Despite asking you to play as police officers on the other end of that spectrum, the excellent RPG mechanics and well-crafted world would be impressive no matter the story. But Disco Elysium's themes make it one of the best games that you should play right now. Next up we have the strategy-based game Songs of Conquest. Gamers who are fond of strategy genre games are in for a treat. Songs of Conquest is a turn-based game with a rich pixel art style, coming across as a more painterly take on Warcraft 2 after choosing from one of four factions, all eternally at war with each other, you'll roam some gorgeously colorful maps acquiring resources, strengthening your settlement, and inevitably engaging in brawls against your enemies. This is an early access affair, but it's very close to being complete, and there's even online multiplayer and a level editor. So if you play Songs of Conquest, there will be little reason to leave it for a long time to come. There's nothing that keeps one on the edge of their seats more than a slow-paced mystery game. So next on our list we have Lila's Sky Arc. Its pixel art is Zelda-like, with a dreamy color scheme reminiscent of Hyper Light Drifter. Lila and her friends live in a kind of psychedelic utopia focused on music and magic, but some squares, namely the conductor's minions, are trying to make things less fun. This will not stand, of course, so Lila embarks on a conquest to stop these foes. There are puzzles to solve, musical bosses to obliterate, and a steadily growing arsenal to wield. Oh, and there appears to be a fox-unicorn hybrid, as well as a fairly normal-looking sheep. The game is a must-try if you ask us. Now we have Samurai Bringer. Samurai Bringer is a high-speed action rogue light about obliterating hordes of samurai and demons. The combat looks like a Diablo slash Dynasty Warriors hybrid. The game focuses heavily on combat style because there's countless enemies on screen at once. In addition to the hordes, you'll also face off against over 100 legendary Japanese warriors. But the ultimate goal is to beat the Yamada no Orochi, an eight-headed dragon who does not stuff around. It's hard to sell a game of this genre in 2022, but the combination of the setting and art style helps Samurai Bringer stand out. The final game on our list is Mace. Mace sounds a lot like Among Us, but with an interesting horror twist, up to 10 players dive into a sprawling, tangled temple to collect three artifacts. Along the way, you'll need to be wary of traps, but more importantly, you'll need to keep an eye out for any suspicious activity from your collaborators, because one of them is a deceitful cultist. Playing as the cultist sounds great, you can summon baddies to smite your hapless friends, and you can also just mess with the environment in endlessly cruel ways. This looks like a lot of fun, so if you've got some time to spare and are an Among Us fan, then go ahead and try this game out. That's a wrap for this video. What did you think from this list? Did you find a game that you were interested in? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.